What is up, tea bags? It's another beautiful day here in the Pacific Northwest, and this weekend, me and some friends are going on an ultralight backpacking trip. So, what I wanted to do today was bring you guys in and show you what kind of ultralight gear we're going to be using. Let's take you down and give you a. So, let's have a look. All right, obviously we've gone super ultralight. The ultralightest we've ever gone. We have an ultralight dog, ultralight rice, and ultralight coffee. Right here, we have 73 years worth of food. Also, I'm gonna sleep inside of this bag because ultralight. See that U? That means ultralight. Because of the color of the bag, I have safety. I could signal for help when I start starving to death. But I won't because I'll be so jacked on this one pound of coffee. I can also use the bag to gather supplies and food in the wilderness. Ultralight. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. I am not ultralight and will probably never go ultralight. I love my toys too much. And that's a good segue into what we're doing today. So me and some friends are going on a really easy hike this weekend. Uh, the weather, let me show you, is actually supposed to be a little bit brutal, but we'll see how that goes. So what we're doing today is I wanted to show you my gear loadout for a really easy I think it's 3.5 miles approximately with only a thousand feet of elevation gain. So it's a really easy hike, so I'm bringing all types of stuff. Man, this there's a fly just all up in my business. I feel like a bird pooped on my head or something. It's just, it won't get out of my face. But anyway, let me bring you down to the tarp and show you what I'm bringing on this super easy overnighter. <laughs> I picked up a... Uh an old willow tree branch. I'm going to use that as a pointer. So here is the layout, the basic layout of what I'm bringing on this super easy overnighter. Everything you see here is going to go into this Savota Jakari L backpack. It is 40 liters but is expandable out to 60. And then you guys have seen this before. It's my Outdoor Vitals Mummy Pod. And then my Eno Housefly tarp. This is my whole hammock setup. Let me open that up and show you what's inside. While I'm showing you what's inside, we're going to try and do something unprecedented here on Two Bananas Adventures in Gear. I'm going to try and link you to a previous video I did. So if you want to see a video going over this whole setup here, Check the links below and it'll be there, hopefully. Like I said, I'll leave a link to this in the description box, which will be a full review I did on this system. But inside, I keep some. These are wool long johns, uh, along with the puffy coat, the beanie, and the socks. I should have no problem even if it gets a little bit cold in this 30 degree bag. Let's move these off to the side. So in here, obviously we got to have a hammock. And then our favorite, the pillow. Uh, Wildhorn Outfitters speed straps. Our bug net. It is a little bit cold for bugs, but we are going to be by a lake, and we'll see. If I need it, I'll set it up. If not, I won't. Here is my ridge line, and in here I keep a little bit of, well, by a little bit, I mean a lot of extra paracord. It's a really easy short hike, so I'm not concerned about weight whatsoever. And then for my, uh, for my tarp, I have eight aluminum stakes. And my friend gave me a tarp sleeve, which I'm probably going to try out this weekend. Next up is the kitchen. 
So in this bag, I have food, eating utensils, and a whole roll of aluminum foil, ultralight for life. Here is the food kit. So as you can see, I have a metal water bottle. I can use this to boil water if I need to, make my coffee in the morning, disinfect, anything like that. And it's the only water that I'm bringing because it is springtime here in the Pacific Northwest and there should be a creek every 32 feet and we are going to a lake. I got my three adult beverages. That's the uh, highlight of the show with the exception of the bananas, of course. I do keep with my kitchen stuff a pair of nice leather gloves so that I can handle this coming out of the fire or do any chopping or sawing or work I want to do around camp. And obviously because I'm living that ultralight life, I'm bringing an entire roll of aluminum foil. So we are going to be fishing and hopefully we'll be, uh, we'll be making some foil bombs with some fish. Open this up. So inside of here, got a bunch of snacks. Sugar-free beef jerky. I don't know if you guys knew this, but beef jerky is actually loaded with sugar. But I found this stuff at Costco. Sugar-free beef jerky. Uh, in here, we got a bunch of random bars to keep olive oil. Uh, and then a salt and pepper mix with some red pepper flakes that I made. And coffee. I also found this at Costco yesterday, and this is grain-free gra <laughs> grain granola. Say that 92 times. Uh, I tried some this morning. It's absolutely delicious. Can't wait to eat some more. Because I had this from last week, I'm bringing this, which is just coconuts, banana chips, and some chocolate, which I made myself. Again, living that ultralight life. Two sweet potatoes, which actually in my refrigerator at home, I have some sausages and some asparagus, which will go into the aluminum foil to make some foil bombs. You guys have seen that before in my other videos, but really the hope is that I'll be just filled up on fish. That sounded weird. And then we have a knot. I'll probably just take this thing out of this unnecessary pouch but uh we have a knot long handled and sort of annoying to get out titanium spork actually really like this thing i have forgotten it on the last two trips and i had to borrow one had to borrow a plastic spoon from danny but i'm remembering it this time damn it so there's that and then i found these on amazon and what they are is their little they hold tea inside of them and then you just put it in your hot water and let it steep. What we're going to do is try and experiment with this, but you'll have to wait for the video to see what happens. So that is my food kit, minus the fish, minus the asparagus and minus the sausages. Next up I have my sit pad. This is just a uh, $4 Amazon special, but it works great. And then my Boreal 21 saw, a full tang knife. Up, oh, living that mosquito life right now. Hold on. Up next, since we got a little bit of nasty weather, I'm actually bringing a poncho and not a raincoat. And then I have a puffy coat. Here I have a pair of sleeping socks. These are smart wool, extra thick, and I only wear them for sleeping. I don't wear them to hike because that compresses them. Uh, this way they stay really fluffy and clean and warm. And then I have a pair of leather gloves, a beanie obviously in case it gets cold, and a headlamp. This here, I'm not going to explain to you guys. I think you know what it's for. Uh, in the yellow dry bag, I have some various filming equipment, batteries, etc. I have my fishing kit. As far as my fishing kit goes, I like to keep it really simple. Uh, funny thing, this is actually a Daiwa ultralight pole. <laughs> I know I've been, I've been 
talking smack about ultralight, but I really love this pole. Uh, combined with the Fluger small reel, and then I think I just have, I think this is four or six pound, like moss green line, and so this will get filled up, like I said earlier, with some worms. And then I just had, I actually like inline bobbers better, but uh, I had these laying around. These are really, really light. I figured I'd use those. And then in here, let's see if I can show you guys a little better. In here, I just keep a variety of spinners and spoons, weights, uh, some hooks and swivels, just your basic stuff. So really simple fishing setup, but it's been very effective for me. Holy cow, you guys, I almost forgot one of the most important parts of the fishing setup. That is the Gerber Dime. This thing has been through it with me. It's probably seen a couple hundred miles of uh, river floating, and it has pulled the hooks out of a lot of salmon, a lot of trout, but it has pliers, pull those hooks out. Like everything nowadays, it does have a bottle opener. Gotta have that. Uh, I like to hang it from this beat up key ring off my life jacket. Uh, one of the great parts is that it has a pair of scissors. You know, cut your line or whatever. You know, if you're mountain climbing, cut your giant rope. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, little screwdriver, a little file, which <laughs> I don't know what you could file with that. Maybe your pinky. And then uh, it does have right here a little, little pair of tweezers. And obviously it has a little knife blade on it. Yeah, this thing goes on all my fishing adventures with me. It's small and it works great. This empty glass jar will be filled with worms before I go, but I didn't want to fill it up now and then have them sitting there overnight. So I'll fill that up right before I go. This is my little chest kit you guys have seen before. It's a Hill People Gear Heavy Recon. Uh, let me open that up and show you what's inside. No people chest gear, what's in here? Well, I didn't mean to do that sweet rhyme. So in here we have, oh, just kidding. You guys don't get to see what's in here yet. I'm gonna do a review on this whole rig here coming up in the next couple of videos, so stay tuned for that. Love this thing. And then, we have my fishing pole to use with the fishing stuff because we are going to a lake and hopefully we'll be eating some fish. And as always, some bananas on a carabiner because doesn't everyone keep their bananas on a carabiner? Hey you guys, you might notice me wearing a lot of these t-shirts and hoodies in my videos and that's because I absolutely love them. They're some of my favorite shirts I own. And they are made by one of my BFFs. So if you want to, if you like them and you want to pick yourself up one, go ahead and check out Seasick Graphics. I'll leave a link in the description below. Hill people gear. My backpack just fell over. I thought a bear was attacking me. <laughs> that scared me. Do you love the Pacific? Do you love the Pacific North? Do you love the Pacific Northwest as much as I do? Then check out these shirts. Hey, ho, ho, ho. Don't panic. They're organic. Doop, 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 doop. Doop, 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 doop. 
Don't panic, they're organic. 